Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows a case of Hydops fetalis with fetal ascites, pleural effusion, pericardial effusion, and soft tissue edema with pregnancy of about 16 weeks. You can see the fetus lying transversely, and you can see the head of the fetus having soft tissue edema this is the soft tissue edema hydops fetalis is a condition in the fetus characterized by accumulation of fluid or edema in at least two fetal compartments by comparison hydrops allantois or hydrops Hydrops amnion is an accumulation of excessive fluid in the allantoic or amniotic space, respectively. Now you can see the fluid is seen in the pleural cavity, pericardial cavity, and in the abdominal cavity. So the hydrops fetalis is a swelling or edema in an unborn baby or a newborn baby. It is a life-threatening problem. Hydrops develops when too much fluid leaves the baby's bloodstream and goes into the tissues. Treatment of hydrops depends on the cause. About 50% of unborn babies with hydrops do not survive. Now you can see this is the fluid in the pleural cavity, pleural effusion. Now you can see the fluid in the pericardial cavity. Pericardial effusion. And drops due to chromosomal abnormalities is usually detected during early pregnancy, whereas cardiac causes are detected in the second or th third trimester. Hence, a detailed prenatal workup should be done in suspected cases. Now this is the ascitic fluid seen in the abdominal cavity. So adopts fetalis, fetal adopts is a serious fetal condition defined as abnormal accumulation of fluid in two or more fetal compartments including ascites, pleural effusion, pericardial effusion, and skin edema, that is soft tissue edema. In some patients, it may also be associated with polyadomnias and placental edema. So this is again the fetal soft tissue edema. Non-immunized hydrops vitalis occurs when a disease or medical condition disrupts the body's ability to manage fluid. There are three main causes for this type, heart or lung problems, severe anemia, thalassemia for example, and genetic defects including Turner's syndrome. The exact cause depends on which form the baby has. Non-immunized hydrops vitalis is an uncommon but serious disorder associated with overall poor prognosis characterized by abnormal fluid accumulation to, in two or more fetal serious compartments together with generalized soft tissue edema. As you can see in this case, the three, three of the fetal, three fetal compartments have fluid and fetal soft tissue edema is also seen.
her drops usually rapidly becomes fatal for the baby if left untreated an infant or fetus with the drops is severely compromised the earlier in the pregnancy the diagnosis is made the the worse is the prognosis some babies with the drops may even die before they are born Sonography features can be similar for both immunized and non-immunized hair drops and include increased amniotic fluid volumes, increased natural translucency, especially first trimester, larger placental size, placentomegaly, increased placental thickness, that is placental edema. stress stress related changes in the pregnant woman's heart rate and blood pressure along with chronic anxiety can affect the heart rate of her developing fetus as a new study concludes usually the earliest baby can survive is about 22 weeks gestation the age of viability is 24 weeks at 22 weeks there is 0 to 10% chance of survival at 24 weeks the survival rate is 40 to 70% if the baby has a birth defect it increases the likelihood that there will they will uh, he or she will develop a drops fetalis liver diseases if your child has liver problems it often shows up as jaundice swelling in the abdomen fever and pain now the causes of hydrops vitalis are hemolytic disease of the newborn severe anemia infections present at birth heart or lung defects chromosomal abnormalities and birth defects and liver disease diseases The prognosis of babies with adopt spitalis depends on the underlying cause of the condition. Overall, however, the survival rate is low. More than half of the babies with conditions die before birth or soon after delivery. Adopts can occur if the developing baby's organs cannot overcome anemia. the heart starts to fail large amount of fluid build up in the baby's tissue or organs starts this type of adopts is not common today because rh negative women are generally treated with rh immunoglobulin to prevent this problem in conclusion even a rare case of fetal ascites can be managed successfully fetal ascites is commonly considered as a part of precursor of fetal adopts which has various etiologies pleural pain is an abnormal accumulation of fluid in the chest cavity as the fluid increases it can limit the development of lungs and compromises the heart's function causes of pleural effusion may include chromosomal abnormalities heart conditions lung problems or abnormal lymph drainage you can find some important information in the description of this video thanks for watching please subscribe my channel if you do like this video please click the like button thanks